Marantia is a genus of plants belonging to the Marantiaceae family. There are several dozen species in this genus. Native to the tropical Americas, many of the species are popular as pot plants due to their decorative leaves and in some species very color colorful inflorescences. Few common species of Calathea are Calathea lancifolia, also known as a rattlesnake plant. It is an evergreen perennial growing to about 60 to 70 centimeter with slender pale green leaves beautifully marked with various shades of green. Calathea ornata, also previously called as uh, uh, ornamental Calathea. It is a striped Calathea, pin striped Calathea, various names. The plant is known for its large leaves that have a distinctive pattern and effervescent colors. The leaf of the pin strip Calathea grows and end of long stems that require the right care and location in order to continue looking as healthy as possible. If kept indoors, the plant will not grow much larger than 2 feet or 2 feet width, width and length. This is a plant that looks attractive indoors, but it is also possible to keep them outdoors under indirect sunlight. Due to its foliage, this is a superb plant to put among other plants that have attractive foliage. Next one is the Calathea zebrina, also known as zebra plant. It is also an evergreen perennial which can grow up to 1 meter. The long stalks carry beautiful striped elliptical leaves. The leaves are dark green above, dark uh, red below, the spines, veins and margins etched in lime green. Now coming to the care of Calathea plants. First thing is light. No direct sunlight for Calatheas, otherwise you will lose the markings. You need to provide the shielding from direct sunlight which will come overhead at some point of uh, time in the day uh, and when, uh, at the location of these pots. Second thing is watering. Calathea plants demand to be moist all the times, but not always wet or uh, water sitting in the pot at all times. This means regular small amounts of water during the growing seasons as soon as the surface of the pot, I mean the uh, soil starts to dry up. Next important factor is humidity. Humidity is really important uh, for a healthy and attractive looking Calathea. They all require high humidity and failure to provide this is one of the main reasons of failure for growth. You can also build your own humidity tray to provide this effect. Next factor is fertilizer. Uh, drop few NPK crystals like the NPK 2020-20 every fortnight during the growing season or even some vermicompost every fortnight. You can also use decomposed cow dung as an alternative. Next is repotting. If it is growing well, look to repot every year or even every other year during spring or summer. If you want to propagate your Calathea, you can do this at a repotting time. It's actually done by dividing large Calatheas. Divide the plant by half or into small pieces if you have a very large plant to start with and pot each new section in its own pot. I shall be making a separate video on repotting and propagation of Calathea when I do this later on. One more thing regarding Calathea is cleaning their leaves with a moist cloth if they become too dusty. And coming to flowering of Calathea, the majority of Calatheas do not flower or rather they do not flower indoors and this is because the conditions aren't suitable, suitable for them to do it. 
the exception to this is one variety that is the Calathea crocata you can see the photo in this video and that's all in this video friends